tropical archipelago that's home to only 82,000 residents and welcomes millions of visitors every year. There are 44 main islands which have provided launch points for more than 1,000 IGFA world records, and it's home to some 30 game fish species. I will now speak the words that are on the hearts and lips of all our angling viewers. Road trip! South on the overseas highway we go for a fishing trip through the Florida Keys. From Florida Bay to the Atlantic. From poling through the backcountry to chasing big game in blue water on the front side. This is the spectrum of fishing available at our first stop. Isla Mirada, a six island stretch southeast of Key Largo. Local captain Sam Milazzo prefers the billfish bite. Getting a bite. It's See up. how the buoy's laying on its side, Ant? Right there. It's up. Yeah, I guess we'll clear the tip rod and we'll go ahead and uh, come tight. Yeah, baby. Loose drag. No, this ain't no little one. Yeah, dude. no, that's a good this one. This a real one here. That's a good one. This fish is way over 100 pounds. With swords, it's a methodical game, one at a time. With sailfish, how about we try for something bigger, greater, more preposterous? How about four at a time? They're everywhere, oh my God! Where, where? Where? Right here, buddy, right here, straight off the bow, straight. Go, go, go. There you go. Here, they're on you. That one just saw you. There's all of you. Get another bait, go back here. Oh no. Come here, hold this one. Another bait. <laughs> Sir, where are the other ones? Right here. Oh, straight down, right here underneath. This is crazy. This is crazy, dude. Oh, okay, nice. have her come up. Have her come up to the bow. Here, come wind, up here. Wind, 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 wind. Wind, 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 wind. wind. Where's the other ones at? Uh, I would just throw up towards them. Right in front of the one that they had. Okay, let's get up here to that one. Just as far as you can off the bow. There you go. Good shot. That should get bit there. Oh. Oh, he's on. He's on. He's going to eat it. Let it go. He's all over it. He's going to eat it. <laughs> he's not. He's going to eat it right here. Oh, my gosh. What a sweet bite. You got him. Caught. Caught fish. Caught, oh, baby. Oh, oh, my God. Under me. Under me. Oh, my under gosh. Me. <laughs> it's not my fault you caught too many fish. Yeah. 
Bernie! Bernie! Chris Dale, no need to come on. Even. Are you kidding we me, bro? All. Did that really do? Got them on, dude. Onward to the middle keys for a mixed bag in marathon. Next stop, Marathon, the 10-mile island in the Middle Keys. And it's one salty sanctuary. Marathon has 8,500 residents and 2,400 boat slips. There are plenty of species hanging around the many reefs and wrecks that hold bait. Captain Brandon Simmons does not give up his numbers, but he does put up the numbers. We decided to go wreck fishing and look for the mutton snappers. First wreck we hit, we got lucky. Mutton snapper, a brightly colored light tackle favorite. It's a highly sought after meat fish and a common sight around structure. It will attack a variety of prey, shrimp, ballyhoo, pinfish, and pilchards. an African pompano, you know, he fought really hard, got him up to the boat, and uh, you know, it's day made, right, you know? So we go do another one, another African pompano. We did another one, another African pompano. It's a good mutton spot of mine, but you know, you're not gonna, you, you can't pass up those bites. You can't even get past them. They're eating everything. about four African pompanos. We kept two and released two. We got one nice mutton snapper on that spot and we moved around to a few different wrecks trying to search for a, a better mutton bite. Got into some amber jacks and some jack ravels. Back down to the deep. It was definitely a busy day. Had the drag screaming all day long. Nice African. Woo! Nice! That's a good one, boys. It's like a big disco ball down there. The water was green, I couldn't tell what it was. That's quite the mixed bag for Brandon. Captain Jeff Malone fills in a few gaps with Goliath Grouper and Cobia. we came out here right here if you drop a live bait down there if there's one around he's going to eat it they're really not too picky they're always trying to go home it's really a serious tug of war the minute he hits that thing you got to get on him and get him up and out or he's going to win the war very quickly They're after it, they're coming. Awesome. 
that was an exceptional day in my eyes. For anybody that's excited about catching cobias or enjoys catching cobias, that's a fantastic show of how it can be when you're at the right place and you've got some fish that are willing to cooperate, what that day can look like. En route to mile marker zero, a.k.a. Key West, to spend a week with two fishing families. West Florida, our southernmost stop. Fishing families in the Conk Republic are as plentiful as the palms, and the Trossets are chief among them. Father R.T. and son Chris. I ended up in the Keys in 1975. I just graduated from the University of Florida. I decided that I didn't want to sell life insurance, and I came down to be a fishing guide. He had never made me go fishing. You know, he always asked me if we wanted to go. He's always very relaxed and just going out to have a good time. That's gonna be a nice one he's got on. A mangrove snapper. Oh, a big one. <laughs> How pretty. That'll get your attention. Yeah, that one will. Digging. Look at that, he's bigger. Hold him on. <laughs> oh, baby. I don't know what I got here. Another giant mutton. <laughs> nice mutton. A lot of what we did today is the little things that you overlook. This piece of reef that doesn't look great comes in from offshore. You know, there's a cut in the reef that comes into it, real low profile stuff. Not a whole lot there that most people would just run over. A lot of times that is what will produce the best fishing. It's just getting away from the norm. Nice little red group. Ah. Permit may be part of the Florida Keys flat slam, but they also prefer deep water structure and a well-placed crab. Ooh, that was a smoking run. Oh yeah. He's in the right spot. <laughs> you know what? Still a it's permit. a permit. A permit is a permit, <laughs> buddy. Good job. Thank you. Do you believe that ruddy, man? He was spunky. You don't take much. All right, you ready? Yep. Go ahead. That's a pile of them there, bud. Running all over the place. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Come back this way. Eight. Oh, we made it that time. <laughs> that one was bite size. Nicely done. A cute little guy. That's a fun fish to catch. <laughs> it's the perfect size, not too big. Won't hurt, they, don't, won't, they don't hurt you too bad. No. Fighting them. You just gotta have small crabs. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> Apparently. Ready to go. Well, 
Well, he took off nicely. Thanks, Big Daddy. Good shot. Up next, Fishing Families, the sequel, Brothers and Skinny Water Savants. <laughs> Brandon and Jared Sear are the latest generation in a fishing family whose roots in Key West are a century deep. If the Sear brothers have a skiff, a fly rod, and decent weather, the tarpon will be jumping. All right, what you got for me, Captain? I won it like 11 a second ago. There he is, hit him. Oh! That was such a cool eat. Oh, that's what I like it, buddy. Good job. Thank you. I love my job. All right. What an awesome fish, dude. Late season tarpon, sunrise on a 10 weight. Yep. That's awesome. Yeah, what an awesome fish. Greatly appreciate it, big girl. My morning's out. Better than any cup of coffee. Yep. Rounding out the flats Grand Slam, the Sears join forces with Bahamas fly guide, Travis Sands, to chase bonefish and permit. It's Travis's first trip to the Florida Keys. Here comes Strick. Yeah! <laughs> nice, Beautiful. buddy. Nice. <laughs> nice. Yeah, my friend. <laughs> oh, thank you, Jack. <laughs> Come to daddy. Want to get in the water with him? Yeah. Woo! He's a nice fish. That's a nice fish! <laughs> Look Dude, at that. that chunker. Look at that snap! <laughs> That's a beautiful creature right there. Just look beastly. Ah, there you go, beautiful. It's okay. Do what you want to do. <laughs> okay, I got fish right here at 3 o'clock. Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. Stop. Real, real. He's on. Oh. Real, 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 real. <laughs> wow! <laughs> that was so awesome, man. That fish saw that crab coming across the surface. Full oh, on charge. Man. See how soon that crab shot to the bottom? He head stared exactly. as hard as he could on it. Yak like a jack. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Beautiful, man. Yeah, the devil himself. Whole oh, devil, you. <laughs> The devil himself! <laughs> oh my goodness! You know, it's funny when I uh, talked to a few buddies before, you know, who fished with you in the past, I was like, so what do you think of Travis? He's like, he goes, man, you'll never fish with anybody that just fills you with life more than Travis. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. And as soon as she rolls. <laughs> Welcome to the Keys, buddy. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Bring it in, brother. Bring it in. <laughs> oh, my 
Goodness! Have you seen a Florida Keys sunset? It feels like you're in the front row. Nothing between you and the horizon. For the traveling angler, the well that is the Florida Keys never runs dry. Every trip can be a different launch point, a different guide, a different species, exponential opportunities. And every sunrise wipes the slate clean and marks the beginning of what could be your best fishing day ever. <laughs>